babe. Yes? It's time. Let's get this over and done with. I've slept together for about 18 times now. I, you still... I don't know. I mean, I've been asking myself that question. It's... I'm just as frustrated as you are. <sighs> this can't be. There's, there's something wrong somewhere. Something is definitely wrong somewhere because I have been watching you. I'm watching you blossom and turn more beautiful over the past weeks and still, that's a sign. That's a sign that you're pregnant. No, baby, I, I'm not pregnant. I knew it before I even took the test. We're done with this home kit test, okay? We're going to the hospital and do a proper test with a proper doctor, okay? Greg, please. I am not pregnant. We will know when a proper doctor tells us, okay? Look at you doing this. I keep living like this. Listen, let's just get dressed and go to the hospital, okay? to go out? Yeah. Come here, boy. You look nice. Thank you, Daddy, for giving money to money to take us to the cinema. Yeah, you're welcome, <laughs> champ. Just make sure when you get there, you behave yourself, okay? Yeah? <laughs> Daddy. Yes, baby? Can I take ice cream? No, you can't. No ice cream. You both have had too much sugar. No ice cream for a while, all right? Let's go. Just one scoop. Look, you are spoiling this. You are spoiling this today. Don't worry, don't worry. When you get there, Mom will get you ice cream, okay? Hi, Greg. Hey. Good afternoon. Hey. Thank you. Should I say hello to Uncle Greg? Good afternoon, Uncle Greg. Yes. Hey. How are you doing? Hey. All right. Are you guys going out? Yes. Okay, y'all have fun, okay? okay? All right, have a nice day. All right, let's go. See you later. See you. Bye, right, baby. <laughs> Bruh, how far, how far? She come to give me the good news. Dennis. Yes? My wife is still not pregnant. Darlene is not pregnant. How? Why, are you sure? I don't understand. Guy, I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. Like, I really don't know what to do now. The doctor restated that she's fertile. 
and nothing will stop her from conceiving. But I'm just confused as to why that hasn't happened. Why is she not pregnant? Look, I think we're worrying too much about this situation. Worrying too much? Yeah, we've been married for eight years. We don't even have a child. He's been married for the same eight years. He only has two children. They would have had more if they didn't stop having children. But the doctor said that we should not worry about having children. Because it's... Because that doctor obviously doesn't know that I am infertile. It's all my fault. I am the one incapable of getting you pregnant. I should never have brought into this whole situation of mine and... Look, just stop it. Stop talking like that. You did not put me into any situation. I married the man I love. And I'm gonna love for the rest of my life. Maybe I agreed to sleep with your best friend because I want us to have a child of our own. I love you, darling. You're the best thing that's happened to me. Thank you for being you. But we need a child. I'm tired of going out in the world and seeing my family also counting years into our marriage, knowing that we don't have a child. Dennis. Thank you for taking this task for me. You've been nothing but a good friend to me since our teen days. And I thank God, I can't thank God enough for making you my best friend. If you're tired of helping me with this task, I'll understand and I'll just no, let no, go of the stress. No, boy, please, don't, don't talk like that. You know, when it comes to you or your family, nothing can ever be too much stress for me. I am ready and willing to help in any way that I can, but I, I just don't know what else to do now. I know what to do. Darling will take a break from her shop for a month. Excuse me? Yes, baby. I want you to take a break from her shop and just rest. What? I want you to be readily available to have sex with, with Dennis whenever it comes to you. I want your body well rested. Okay? That way, you'll be in the best position to conceive. I want something more Something more than regular. Look, can you both go, you know, try one or two rounds and another one tomorrow morning? Because uh, I heard that late nights and early morning sex is best to get a woman pregnant. Darling, how do you really feel about all of this? What are you talking about? I mean, this whole thing. You having to sleep with me to get you pregnant. Look, I love my husband very much. And his happiness is all that matters to me. That's the only reason why I signed up for this, okay? I mean, but this whole thing is crazy. I mean, it's crazy. I, I don't know how Greg convinced me to do this. This is... Look, we have started this. And we must end it. And to the end, I mean you getting me pregnant. To be honest, getting you pregnant is not what I'm really bothered about. It's about Bernadette finding out. Who is going to tell her? She's my wife and I've never kept secrets from her up until this point. And this has been a really tough thing to do. It's been a tough task for me. Look, we cannot tell her. Please. Okay, so how long do I keep this secret for? What, till you get pregnant? Till you deliver the baby? Like... Look, can you just stop this talk? Stop it! You had an agreement with my husband. And part of that agreement is for you not to tell anybody about this. Including Benedict. So just stop this. So please, I should stop talking about this. There is no time. So let's just start.
Everything's fine. So why did they keep you so long in their house? Oh, I was discussing business. You know, you can't rush business discussions. And what happened to the job he gave you uh, as he asked you to paint his house? Hey, what's, what's going on? You know, Greg is my best friend, right? And he's paying me a lot of money to handle a very important deal for him. I know, but I don't like the way he comes to this house so often. And then he calls you all the time to come and meet him somewhere. The fact that they are richer than us does not mean he has to be tossing you up and down like a baby now. Oh, okay, baby. It's obvious that you're in the mood to exchange words this evening. And I'm not. I'm very tired. Right? I'm really tired, so I'm just going to go to bed. All right, just shower and I'll get food ready. Oh, no, I've, I've already eaten dinner. Darlene cooked me something. You see what I'm saying? Then if you see what I'm saying, Darlene got you something and you open your mouth to eat. You're even telling me, if food they that I cook, what, what happened to the food? You see what I'm saying? How many times does Greg eat food in this house? He comes to this house, he stays all day. He does not eat my food because he wants to go and eat his wife's food. Now you will go there, you eat that little food, you will not eat your wife's food. Babe, what is the matter? Obviously, you're in the mood to fight tonight, yeah? Look, I don't like this thing going on between you and Greg. I don't like it. Whatever business is, is going on between you, don't hurry up and finish the job. Please, so that I can move on with our lives. What kind of thing is this? The wife will cook for you. Don't you know that you have a wife who will cook food for, for you here? Yeah? You will not eat my food. You go and eat, you go and sit down there from one to nine. You have children, you. you you don't even care about them. Okay, I've heard. Do only have to finish whatever business you have with him so that I can have our lives back. Okay. What is all this nonsense? Good night, man. What will not happen to the food I've cooked? And what will happen to the food I've cooked? Hey. Me, I don't like this thing. I don't like it. I don't. I don't too. I don't like it. Honey? Hey, baby. Uh-uh. You're dressed. Where are you going to? Hey, yes, I'm, I'm heading over to Greg's house. We're going to go discuss about possible investors and... Um... This morning? Yes, baby. I mean, it's business, baby. I'm on business calls. You know, a man can't be sleeping at home when the opportunity Wait, wait, wait. You mean you're not going to wait to see your children this morning so you can pray and bless them before you go out? Babe, since when did my prayer for and with my children become a gate pass for me to leave this house? Babe, what's going on? Why are you trying to find trouble this morning between us? What's, what's, what's happening? Um, I, I, I need money for provisions and foodstuffs for the children. Okay, so how much do you need, dear wife? 25,000 naira. 20, okay, 25,000 naira. Check your phone. Check your phone. I just sent you 30,000. The 5,000 is for you. Hmm? So can you stop fighting when I have to go work with Greg? He's paying me well, babe. You, you, you mean you're not even going to eat before you go anywhere? Yeah, come. So that you just want to come. You leave the house very early. Are you not supposed to spend time with your, with your wife? Okay. I'll see you later. Yeah. See you later. Love you. Hmm? I don't love you. Mm -hmm. Love you too. I just want to chill. Yeah, I don't have to sit down. Man. Go upstairs. She's right there in the guest room waiting for you. I need to remember my routine. I always go shower, freshen up for her, and, you know. Boom, get to work. Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> well, what's the problem? I just have a question, and it's, and it's worrying me. Are you sure we're doing the right thing by... Me sleeping with your wife to get her pregnant. What? Bro, I, I just want to make sure, like, you're okay. How do you really feel about this? <laughs> Bros, 
Don't you think that question is coming a bit too late? I don't have a problem with this. Know that at the end of the day, <laughs> everything's going to be all right. Come on, man. And besides, you're like a blood, blood, blood brother to me. So it's cool. My wife is over late and I'm waiting for you. Please. Yeah. Do a good job, man. Right. I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to get some food. I know you'll be tired when you're done, so I'm hungry too. I'll see you guys soon. Darlene, how, how was your night? I, I hope you rested and... Uh... Please, stop. Just stop this. I told you. When it comes to this, there's no need to converse. Let's just get it done and over it, okay? It's me, Greg. Open up, Benedette. Greg. Yeah. What's wrong? Is uh, Dad is home. I won't see him. Um, is there a problem? Is he at home? I won't see him right now, please. Yes, boy, he's sleeping. He came back really tired. But can you call him for me? It's important. I'm sorry, I can't speak. Look, if there's any message, just call your husband for me, woman. It's very important right now. Did you see the time? Did you see the time I'm coming to somebody's house? I cannot wake him up from sleep. If you have a message, drop it down. Let him know when he wakes up in the morning. What's good, boy? Let's talk. Come on, man. Let me talk to him. We'll see you upstairs. What if I end up not getting pregnant? What becomes of me then? I did all this just to ensure we maintain the peace, love and unity in this home. And now, despite all my best efforts, nothing is happening. Oh gosh, why? Why do I have to bear this cross? Why? Why? Why?
Guy, I don't understand what you're talking about. Guy, yeah, listen, I don't see any trouble, okay? And it's obvious that you can't even carry out the task I paid you for. Why don't you just pay my money and let me go? Pay your money back. You cannot be serious. After everything you have put me through, the emotional tone on me lying to my wife, me covering your ass, and you're asking me to pay you my money back? You can't be serious. No, no, was an idiot. A big one. <laughs> I paid you to carry out the simple tasks. Just simple sleep with my wife. I've been doing that for months now, but nothing to show for it. Nothing has happened. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Guy, lower your voice. I am not your baby. Then bring my money and I'll leave you now. I am not paying you back one couple. I'm not paying anything back. Why are you trying to make it that like this is my fault? I have done my very best trying to help you out of your predicament and now you're making my fault. This is not my fault. No, 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 no. Don't even see what it's my wife's fault, okay? Don't even see which, because it is certified to be fertile. Really? Yes. Okay, so I'm fertile as well. Have you forgotten? I am the one that has two children laying upstairs in their bedrooms. It proves my fertility. Go home and ask your wife whether she really can carry a child like she claims that she can. Listen, watch your mouth, okay? I am not going to watch your mouth. Hear me again. Go and ask her whether or not she had an abortion early in life. Maybe damage her womb. For whatever reason, she cannot carry a child. And listen! you was a bad idea in the first place but it'll happen again if you don't want any trouble pay me back my money and what happened to you Greg do this to you. Tell me what happened outside. Um B. Babe. Hey, there's some there's something I have to tell you. Okay. Well, yes. Babe, what I'm about to tell you is going to shock you. But I want you to know that I was very much against it. But Greg convinced me and he and he Controlled me and he paid me a very large sum of money. Wait, did Greg get you involved in any criminal activity? No. What is it, Dennis? Greg. Greg offered me 10 million naira to sleep with Dolly. Get her pregnant. And he's already paying me six million of it. Greg, what are you doing? Why are you trying to destroy the love and happiness in our home? Greg, I'm so sorry this has not worked out for the both of us. I'm sorry. But I want you to think. Think about how this whole thing is affecting me. Do you know how it feels sleeping with your best friend for 77 times and still not get pregnant? Do you have an idea? You just sitting here drinking just makes me feel useless. This is so embarrassing. All of this would not have happened if at all you just listened to me. If you had taken my advice for us to adopt a child from one of these orphanages, all of this should not have happened. I can't believe you pushed me and convinced me to sleep with Dennis. Think you are hurting me? Drinking? Putting me through all this pain? Oh my God. Did you have an abortion? 
Excuse me? You heard me. If someone was blocking you, it was the first time I would be myself again. Have you ever had an abortion any time in the past? Greg, why would you ask me such a stupid question? It's not a stupid question, okay, because you're trying to find a solution to a problem here. Look, I haven't tested and confirmed sterile. Which means, no matter what I do, my sperms are useless. And I have been found fertile. Tested by all the best gynecologists in this country. No arguments about that, okay? But what if you're fertile and there's some complications? Huh? Look, I have to ask these questions because I don't know how Dennis, a man who has two children, and his wife is taking birth control so she doesn't get pregnant again, cannot get you pregnant. After both of you have slept together for seven, seven times. How? Look, I think you should go and ask your friend that question. Don't ask me that. Look, I am done with this conversation, okay? I think I'm going to go to my auntie's, okay? I, I, I need some time to sit and think about this whole thing. I just can't do this. I still want to go get your hair done. Why are you asking? Do you need space to bring more women to the house? Should I show your baby making flower? Babe, don't, don't say that. What? I need to know the, the amount of space you want. In fact, I can take the children out so that you have the whole house to yourself. Keep your voice low. The children are in their room. I, I should keep... Did you think about that before doing that stupid act of yours? Eh? Didn't you realize that I was going to destroy this family? Okay, baby, you're right. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. I, I wasn't thinking. I've been a fool. Okay. Thank you. But I need you to promise me one thing. Anything, baby. You will stay away from Greg and his wife. That will help me recover from this whole mess. Okay, done. And, and I would have paid him back all his money in full if I had already spent a big chunk of it. You said you gave the landlord money for two years, right? Yes, and then I used the rest to take care of some business deals and just to tidy up on those things. It's okay. I'm sorry for shouting at you. I'm just very annoyed about the whole thing. No, so some things destroy families. You, you, you can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just focused on trying to help. Greg, you know, he's been a really good friend to me. I was trying to be there for him the best way I knew how. I understand. It's okay. I know we'll, we'll all be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just forget about it and move on to another. Darling. Auntie. You said you slept with your husband's best friend to get you pregnant. Are you sure this is what you came to tell us? Or you're making a mistake? No. I didn't make a mistake. That's exactly what happened. So what did you and your husband smoke before you decided to do such a thing? Greg is having a lot of pressure from his family members because of our childlessness. He's sterile, but he doesn't want them to know. I suggested adoption, but he refused. He said no. Why? Because he doesn't want us to keep a child that we don't know its background. So he thought his best friend was a better option. 
This is shocking. Did you think about the implications that could arise in the future from such an action? So, uh, your husband's best friend and the wife actually agreed that he sleeps with you to make you pregnant? No, sir. His wife is not aware. <laughs> So, the wife of your husband's best friend is not aware. I wonder how a bunch of, how adults would gather and do something so, so stupid like idiots. So now that uh, the stupid plan you and your husband put up has failed, what does he want to do now? Sir, I don't know. I had to leave the house because all he's been doing since yesterday was just drinking and getting himself drunk. I'm just confused. Good. Very good. So, he puts up a stupid plan and then ends it off with alcohol. You youths of these days are really smart, you know. Just go inside and rest. We will discuss this issue thoroughly later. Go to Stella's room. It's open. with my husband. That is not that. Was he supposed to tell you or anybody anything now? Yes. He told me everything after you broke his lip last night. Now that I'm meeting you, I want you to stay away from my husband. Stay away from my family. If I see you anywhere close to my family, I'll get you arrested. Do you understand me? I'm sterile, Bernadette. I wouldn't have gone to Dennis if I were a complete man. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. It's all my fault. Okay. I made him do it. I begged him. I pleaded. So he not gave in. Even my wife left me and moved to her auntie's place. Because I pushed her. I pushed her to sleep with Dennis. It was not her fault. I pushed her. I I, I pressured her. I even threatened her. So she, 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 she gave in. It's not, it's not her fault. It's all me. I'm really sorry. Please. Forgive me. It's not them. Once we gave in. It's not their fault. It's all me. It's all me. I'm. I'm sorry. I really am. Please. I'm really sorry about your pretty comment. Well, come on. It. It really hurts that you. Dennis, darling, will keep such a terrible thing away from me. It hurts. I'm sorry. Tell us my intention, please. Please. I don't know why you've written yourself off in getting a woman pregnant. But why don't you try some other options? You have enough money to get whatever solution you want. I'm sorry. I actually came here today to fight with Alan. But right now I feel deflated. I pray God grants you all that you desire.
see you, bro. It's really nice to see you again. Oh, wow. So, so what brings you here? Man, I came to see the lab guy. Oh, that's you, the lab guy. Yes. Bro, yeah. it's a matter of life and death. It's serious. Wow, you sound really serious. Yes, it is. Wow. Well, okay. I was just on my way to grab some food to eat, um, but since you're here... Okay, that's fine. We could talk over lunch. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Which? Okay. Oh. Yeah, see, <laughs> you don't <laughs> You asked your friend to sleep with your wife. Are you insane? Hey, listen, no one else knows about this, okay? Just you. Now, I want you to just keep confidential between us. Sure. Sure, but why don't you just try adopting a child or even Ivy? I can't do that. I can't adopt any child. I can't adopt any lost child. But I can get treated or healed. That's why I came to you. Well, we have to conduct some tests and um, see what we can do for you. But please, I am ready for whenever. Whatever, just let me know what to do and I'm going to be there, okay? It's just that I deeply request having Dennis to sleep with my wife. It's just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a minute. Did I just hear you mention Dennis? Yes, Dennis Romero. No, no, no. Our guy from university. Do you hear Dennis? Of course I remember Dennis. I'm just surprised because I carried out the same test on him, but he never came back for recommendation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you are mistaken. Dennis Romero. No. Yes, Dennis Romero. Stara. No, no, no. Listen, okay. <laughs> You're not serious, okay? Dennis has two grown kids. Handsome and beautiful kids. It's step. How? Listen, if I was not sure of Dennis having kids, I wouldn't have gone to him for help. It's not possible. You don't know what I'm saying, I swear. You don't know what I'm saying. If he didn't have any children, if he was a couple of governing kids, I wouldn't have gone to him for help. Well, maybe he must have gotten help somewhere else. Um, but I think we have to start up the process to see what can be done. seen Henry in so many years. I, I never went to see Henry for anything. This, this is nonsense. No, this is nonsense, okay? You know what, Dennis? This is the last time you come to see me as your friend because you're playing games with me. Okay? This, this, this is just nonsense. 
Get rid of this. I know what's this. Don't ever come to me for any help or any assistance ever again. Okay? Because this friendship is done. There are no two ways about this. They have to go to the village, the husband has to follow her to the village, and all necessary reason must have to be done. If not, if it's not, not, it's not fair. It's not necessary. Don't say that. Don't say that. Look, it is neither your fault nor mine. The necessary thing has to be done. There are no two ways about it. We have our children growing up. They are, they are going to marry one day. Okay. I have told you my mind, if they don't do that, there is going to be trouble in this house. Okay. I have told you my mind. Whoa, that is my man. Long time no see. Whoa, whoa, Harry, this is not a social visit. You told Greg that I came to you to test my fertility and I never did such a thing. So why would you tell him such a thing? Why would you tell him that? I don't understand what you're talking about, Dennis. Your wife brought your student to me to carry out some test. I did and recommended treatment, a place for treatment for you. Greg told me you have two kids. That must mean you must have gotten the treatment required. Wait. Bernadette, my wife, brought my sperm to you. Yes! What I don't remember is the exact reason why you didn't come along with her. But I vividly remember that I didn't want to do the test. She had to beg me. Then I had to carry out some tests because of the relationship we have from way back in school. But, but, but Dennis, you have two kids already. You, I'm sure you've gotten the treatment you, you require or you need. What's the problem? Darling! Darling! Auntie? Come, 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 come. Yes, Auntie. I've been thinking. You know this act that you committed? It's abominable. And it's a taboo for a woman, a married woman at that, to commit adultery, whether the husband knows or not. This is what we're going to do. You have to go to the village for cleansing. Mm. There's this Baba in our village that carries out the act. Hey, Auntie. Hey, Auntie, 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 Homa. Her daughter committed adultery last year. So, and I, I, I followed her. I, I wanted to know, you see, as if God was preparing me. But anyway, this is what we're going to do. We will buy three cow, three goats, three hens, three cocks. Hmm? Yeah. Then we will look for, you see, cowries. Cowries. Yes. Three, 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 nine. What else again? Oh, I think that that is it for now. Um, but can I give you money to buy all of that? Yeah, you can give me money. I will go to the village and then... okay. Then I'll, I'll I'll sort that out, Auntie. Is that all? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> you see this your hair? Hair. Mm. You scrape it, eh? No, I say scrape it. Scrape it to the skin. Why? Why? I'll tell you. With all this sin that you have committed, your scalp has to be open. Hmm? Very, very open. So that the gods will cleanse you from inside your head down to your feet. Do you understand? You don't need to understand. You see all this in your nails. This nail. This makeup. Everything. In fact, from today, go to the salon, go and remove everything. We have to start from here. Okay, I'll see. 
Come back here. I'm not finished. Uh -huh. So, you see, when we give them those uh, materials and they cut your hair and the cleansing process starts, you see, with that going back, you will go into the evil forest for seven days. Why? The, the, the evil what? Evil forest. Seven days. Without food, and you must not have contact with any human. Wait, Auntie, can't I pay for all of this? Pay for all of this? Eh. When you were opening your leg and making this arrangement and doing things, you did not think about the repercussions. Eh? You can't pay, my dear. You cannot pay. You can't pay. But, you, you know, it will be okay. See, eh? Aunt Omar's daughter did it. Seven days, she was okay. Let me tell you, if you don't do this, it can affect your children's children, all the girls in your lineage. Do you know how they might die before they get married? You know, they might not have children. You never know. So that is why you need to do all of this. So I've said it, and that is what's going to happen. But can't we pay for that? Pay. <laughs> you want to pay, yeah? you can pay for everything. Why didn't you pay for when... <laughs> Don't let me talk. This is what we're going to do. Is it okay by you? No. How will it be okay by you? You will do it. Okay? You have to do it. Ah, honey. My darling, look, I'm so sorry I came back late. I had to wait for my customers coming from Edo to Lagos to buy the kids before coming. I'm sure the kids must have stressed you today. Hey, I'm talking to you. Sorry, I was, my mind was somewhere else. Oh, it's okay. I know you must be very tired. The children must have been stressed too today. Where are they? Sleep. Oh, they're already asleep. All right, uh, let me just quickly go to the kitchen and prepare something light for us to have before sleep, okay? How are you now? What are you thinking about? <laughs> Are you taking the children to school? I thought you said a client is coming to your office this morning. Yes, um, I decided to take them to school. Um, I haven't done that in a while, so I figured I'll take no, them before didn't, work. No, you, you didn't have to do that. No, no, it's, it's okay. Oh. Mm, please, no, let daddy take us to school. Yes, let daddy take us to school. Okay, then. Yay! All right, All right see you later. Oh, honey. Are you okay? Yes, why? Um, are you sure you don't have anything on your mind? B because you've been acting really strange since yesterday. Is there something you want to talk about? Or are you feeling sick? Um, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Talk to you later. Yeah? I'll talk to you later. Dennis, um, the test is ongoing, so we'll wait for the results. You can go and come back in two hours' time. Everything should be ready by then. Okay. Okay? Thank you, sir. Take care of you.
Has it gotten to the point where you see me and not greet me? What do you want, Greg? What do you want? I thought I told you I needed space. I need time. Why are you following me around? What do you want? I came to take you home. I came to tell you. I came to tell my darling wife who I've heard so much that I am sorry. I'm so sorry for being the stupidest man alive. I also came to tell you that you could choose whatever alternative. You feel it's right to have our baby. I came to ask for forgiveness. I'm so sorry, darling. I am so ashamed right now. I don't know how I allowed you to convince me to sleep with your best friend, Dennis, just because we want to have kids. I'm still in shock. I'm even more ashamed of myself. I'm sorry I didn't consider your feelings. I didn't even think of the future repercussions of this. I'm sorry. I have something to tell you. Something I discovered yesterday. What? Dennis had infertility issues in the past before he got treated and started having kids. Dennis had infertility issues? Yes. I found out when I went to see my friend, Henry. He owns a lab. So he told me that some time ago, Dennis came to him for some tests regarding infertility and he gave me some recommendations of drugs to take. Oh, wait. So Dennis knew he had infertility issues, yet he still agreed to sleep with me? How could he do that? I mean, how could he put me through such pain? Same thing I asked him yesterday. He didn't have any concrete answer to give me. Oh, what, 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 what evil? I can say that again. I can't believe this. Even Bernadette was the one that assisted him to go take the test. And she came yesterday pretending that she was the, she was the victim. Came to the house to come and comfort you. What nerve! She had the guts to come to my house after her husband has spent our money on her and the kids without even doing what we paid him for. Is she crazy? <laughs> no. The, I, oh my God. Baby, you need to just calm down, okay? Just take it easy. I've already called him up as a friend. No, 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 no. I need to see that woman. I have to speak to her. She has to tell me why she came to my house. Listen, darling, let's just calm down. Let's take it easy now. Okay. Let's not just blow this out of proportion because this is something that's meant to be put on the kept under the roof. Okay. It's your game to see. Go upstairs, take off your clothes, have your bath while I go to the kitchen to prepare our lunch, okay? Okay. All right. Mommy. Yes, love. Are we going to die? What? Where did you hear that? Well, um, Daddy took us to the hospital today. I saw a doctor and many nurses. Sophia. Oh, Daddy told me not to tell Mommy. Wait, wait, wait. Allah Hato. Your Daddy took you both to the hospital today. What? what is going on now? I, I told you that food is ready. You said you were not going to eat. What's wrong with you? I'm not hungry. Why are you not hungry? You think I'm a child? Something is bothering you. I need to know what is bothering you. I said you. I am not hungry, Bernadette. Leave me alone. Okay. 
Mr. Dennis, your result clearly shows that you have a very low spam count. Dr. Low, low spam count? Yes. Um, the motility is also low. Um, doctor, sorry. Is, is this incurable? No, 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 no. It's actually treatable. We just need to carry out some tests on you to determine the kind of treatment we'll give you. No. Sorry, Doctor. The, the kids that I am carrying out a paternity test for the DNA test. You are saying that I, I have low sperm count or motility issues, Doctor. What does that mean? Um, we have to wait for the paternity test. Until they're out, I cannot say for sure if you are the biological father. No, 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 no Dr. Baido, I don't, I don't understand what you are saying. You, you just said to me that I have low, low sperm count. So, that means I've, I've had it all, all, all this while. This motility issues. So, so, doctor, are, are you saying? What are you saying? Are you saying that they are? What, what does Dennis, that mean exactly, doctor? Mr. Dennis, Mr. Dennis, hold on, calm down, okay? We have to wait for the paternity test for us to make proper analysis. Until then, I can't say. Dennis, Dennis, what is wrong with you? No, you are not fine. Look, I am your wife and you are going to tell me exactly what is wrong with you. I said I am fine. Okay. Why did you take my children to the hospital without my knowledge? Why did you take my children to see a doctor without my knowledge? I guess the question is, why did you take my sperm to get tested without my knowledge or permission? Answer me. Bernadette, answer me, woman! How did I find out? How did I find out? Oh my God, burn the dead. You took my sperm to get tested without my knowledge and you found out that I was sterile and you hid it from me. You hid it from me. And the way I found out was the first time I would ever hear in my life that I was incapable of having children was from Greg. He went to see Henry and Henry told him that I could not have kids. So, I took some tests, and sure enough, I said that I was incapable of having children. So the question now becomes, Bernadette, who is the father of Junior and Sophia? And who is the father of Junior and Sophia? Who is the man that you slept with, that you put the person on the roof and you called them my children? You better answer me now! I swear to God, Bernadette, if you don't talk, I swear you are a dead woman. Who is the father? Bernadette!
you expecting anyone? Bro, how about you? No. Their daddy just brought them here. Mm. Hey, kids. Morning, Morning, Uncle Greg. Morning. Where's your daddy? He's gone away. He gave us this letter to give you. to bring them over because I had nowhere else to take them. I just found out two days ago that everything I knew I called in life was all built on lies. My wife has deceived me for eight years with children from another man. Yes, I am incapable of having children and Junior and Sophia are not my biological children. Bernadette has disappeared and refused to tell me who she slept with to get pregnant with these kids. I have loved these kids deeply and cannot bear to cause them any harm. That is why I have brought them over to you. Because I know you love them as much as they love you too. Bernadette has destroyed my life. It would have been better for me not to have any children than for my wife to have slept with some man or men I don't know for children and lied to me. I'm going away, man. I'll see you all in another life. Benedict, I'm still in the state of shock. You brought shame into this family. Uncle, I did what I did to protect my family, to protect my husband's inability to have children. I did it so that my marriage would not crumble. I did it because I love my husband. <laughs> Clap for yourself. You slept with another man outside your matrimonial home. You got pregnant. And Benedict, you have the guts to bring the children to your husband. How do you manage to sleep all these years? Huh? Do you know what? I don't see any difference between you, an armed robber, and the murderer. Uncle. Shut up your mouth. Shut that your mouth before I shut it for you. An armed robber and a murderer are people without conscience. They are people that are without a soul or a heart, dead heart or even cold heart. Any woman that could be as deceptive as you have been all these years is either without a heart or with a dead heart. God knows I did what I did because I love my husband so much. I needed to protect him. All this wouldn't have come out if he did not go to sleep with his best friend's wife to give them a chance. Let's 
do you just say? <laughs> now everyone thinks I'm the devil here. But my husband was paid 10 million naira to sleep with his best friend's wife so that he could get a job. And now what says any evil in what he did? I'm being called the evil one here. I'm being called the devil here. Just because I did what I did to protect him. I did it what I did because of my health, because I love him. Because I love him. I wanted to cover his shame. I wanted to protect my marriage. I wanted to protect my family. I am being called the evil one. Excuse me. Benedict. Are you people running a mad home in your house? I mean, are you are you are you in charge of mad people that it has affected your brain and your characters? What is wrong with you people? Oh my word! Tell us for what's going on. Daddy! Don't call me daddy! Don't call me daddy! I am not your I'm not your daddy. I swear, I'm just going to end this. Wait, wait, wait. Let me end the wall! Tell us, 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 because I didn't want to break our home. So yes, after we got married and I was unable to get pregnant, I got really worried and I was scared. Because I know that I was not the problem. I was pregnant before I met you and I had an abortion. <laughs> so I was very worried and I was scared. And then I... I forced you into 
have sex with me using a condom. Yeah, I used to do now to, to ask them to do a test for me. And I realized that you will never be able to get any woman pregnant. So, so you, you became a slut for us. You, 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 you became a slut for us, God, for yourself. No, no, I, I, I didn't want our marriage to have cracks because of childlessness. I've seen people whose marriages crumble because of childlessness. I didn't want that to happen to us. That was why I did it. No, you should have told me. But that you could have told me. I could have found some treatment. You have that was then. I never knew me then. I was so paranoid. I was so scared. I was so worried. And I didn't want our past to come hunt us. So I, I went to a nightclub. And then I, I picked a guy who was clearly drunk. I had him sleep with me. That was when I had Sophia. <laughs> and then I did the same thing to get pregnant for Junior. So sorry, Dennis. I know I've hurt you. I've hurt you so badly. If you don't want me in your life anymore, if you don't want the children in your life, we will just go. But please don't hurt yourself because of me. You have family, you have your mother, you have your siblings who still love you. So that's why. That's why you told me you should bother having kids after Julia. That's why. <laughs> I know I've hurt you so much. I want you to know that you're the only man who makes my heart beat for love. And I love you so much. I never intended to hurt you in any way. I'm sorry for the hurt I've caused you. I'm sorry for the pain I've caused you. I just need you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. She had the guts to come to my house after her husband. Okay, okay, on her and kids. Okay. What nerve? She had the. 
the guts to come to my house after her husband has spent our money on her and the kids? You, yourself, today are very fast. You should be fast now. <laughs> I know. Right, let's go. Pick up. Ash. This is not. No, this is nonsense. Okay. Listen, you know. I, 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 uh, 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 damn. Lines. Action. This is nonsense. No, this is nonsense, Derek. Dennis. Danny, man. Derek. Action. This is not. No, this is nonsense, Dennis. You know, I don't think this. Well, I'm, uh, can I mix? Can I use my own? Just nonsense? use your words. As Thank long you. as, as long as you say it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Really? Yeah. Action. Yo, this is nonsense. No, this is nonsense, Dennis. Because I don't think this is this person is going to work anymore. Okay? Because they're playing games with me. Did you think about the implications that would arise in future because of this action of yours? Okay, let's think of the line. Did you think of the implications that would arise in future from this action? Yes, that's it. Yeah, pick up. This is shocking. Action! Just you treat me, that's what came to you, not me. I, I, I guess you're getting it all wrong. Because, okay, I'm supposed to, I'm not supposed to, I'm sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Action. 